Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome today to a brand new video guide series covering Ultron's Assault Variant Completion. So there are going to be three different videos for each chapter covering uh, some of the best champions, some of the easiest paths, and all the kind of the pro tips, strategies, and stuff that you need to be aware of before heading in to do the completion. And it's kind of a little bit weird because I would say chapter one is a very low hanging fruit. It's quite easy to do. It slots in maybe to the progression path a little bit earlier than chapter two and chapter three uh, which are significantly more difficult to get the initial completion on uh, so we're going to be talking about all of that fun stuff today but again uh, today is all about chapter one and chapter one can be very very easy to do if you have um uh, a couple of the right champions and are aware of how to play in certain matchups. So yeah, we're going to talk about some of the chapter MVPs and some of the crazy stuff you can do here. So let's start off by getting up our wonderful Google document here. Now, my recommendations before even thinking about completing chapter one is get uncollected, ensure that you're completing every single uncollected monthly event quest 100%. That is always the priority for pretty much every single play. you got to make use of those limited time ones. At five complete is arguably the thing to do before looking at completing chapter one uh, and you want to have a solid roster of four star rank four plus or five star rank two plus of the chapter mvps so at least five champions and if you're uh, i am um uh, a little bit of a scrub, you want to have Gambit, really of any star, uh, doesn't need to be awakened, so a 3 star one can cut it if you've got the patience, but ideally a 4 star or 5 star version of the character is really going to help you out there. Uh, so chapter 1 MVPs and characters that can be very, very useful for the completion. So Domino and Blade are really, really awesome characters, tons of damage on Domino, Blade is an MVP for this as well. Saber 2 for the Killmonger synergy can be great for some of the, uh, the last quest masochism though and getting through that uh winter soldier with a five or six star killmonger synergy um can be a really huge MVP as well. Uh, Gwenpool Awakened, if you don't have a Gambit, can be very, very good for the first chapter. Uh, Gambit is just the absolute cheese lord of the first chapter power reserve and can give you a very, very easy run through that. Uh, Archangel can be good for quite a few of the fights and some masochism stuff a bit later on. Uh, Emma Frost and Mega Red and Iceman can all be very good for the uh, the Caltrops boss, which is the, uh, the final one in the chapter. Uh, Hawkeye can be very useful for the first chapter as well if you're a big fan of that character and then x23 and massacre have some pretty good damage to get through some of the fights as well and punisher awakened can be very very good for some of the aspect of chaos stuff that you're going to see so just a, a bit of a list of the chapter mvps and other champions that can be pretty decent uh, but maybe not all that reliable are um uh, Storm, like you've got a stun on her, uh, what is it, special attacks, which can be quite good, uh, but again, not 100% chance on that one. Uh, Daredevil, both of them have a uh, stun on their crit as well, which can be useful for certain scenarios. Seen some crazy stuff with Daredevil, but you do need to get very, very lucky for that as well. Uh, and Thor Ragnarok can be quite good for, you know, out damaging some, some of the fights, and also the shot can be uh, quite nice for some of the robots as well, but also he's lacking kind of his main synergies, which ramp up his damage with like Hulk and uh, uh, what is it the champion as well so he's a little bit lacking there and Psylocke can be all right for mitigating some power but doesn't seem to be like the crazy most useful option out there uh, especially if you have a gambit so gambit is the significantly less painful one to do so anyway ladies and gentlemen let's put this to the side and now start talking about um some of the easiest paths and essentially how to get through this stuff uh, as simple as possible. So chapter one, the very first quest, man, is incredibly disheartening if you do not have a gambit. Uh, but if you have a gambit, man, it's so easy. There are so many cheese videos up. Uh, I believe one should be playing at the moment, but also if you look up Let's Play or just any gambit versus Ultron's assault variant, you can kind of see the tactic here on power reserve. So basically, uh, the global node on this one is kinetic reactor. So whenever they hit into your block they're going to gain power uh, they also on this path have increased power gain by 100% and also special attacks cost 50% less however if you have a gambit gambit because of the um 
Uh, the high armor of these characters has a 100% chance to stun on a special one. So if you go with Gambit, you just basically spam the special one. And it's very, very simple. You special one, and then double medium combo, full five combo, another special one. And then you just kind of play about with various combos, depending on how your power fluctuates. Either like a double medium and then a full combo, or just a five combo. Gets the job done, and you can permanently stun lock that Emma Frost, that Vision, that Deadpool, the Emma Frost. And then you're at the boss who is just very, very easy to deal with. Other options, again, if you do not have a Gambit of any start, which I do highly suggest having a Gambit for this one, I uh, do include Gwenpool, because Gwenpool can infinitely tank special attacks and take zero damage, so infinite special freeze there. You need to be careful of this on the... Um, uh, the Deadpool X-Force though because he's a bleed component associated so you will die with that one but the biggest pain in the ass fights are definitely the Vision and the Emma Frost uh, where you can infinitely tank the special freeze there so Gwenpool she can work fairly decently I used my 5 star one to kind of speed up the process a little bit when I was doing 100% so uh, Gwenpool is kind of a backup option there uh, but also Hawkeye seems to be uh, a bit of a popular option as well I've seen some people use Rogue but I don't personally think Rogue works that well she's alright she could be added actually under uh, other pretty decent options but maybe like Storm, Daredevil as well if you want to bring a roster of stun champions because the boss is very very straightforward so kind of just maybe focus on uh, you know having like 4 out of 5 of your champions that can just like stun lock cheese or have some form of taking advantage of either having like a very powerful power drain or a very uh, high chance to stun could be quite a good idea there and then the boss is just um uh, yeah, very, very easy to deal with. So essentially, he is the Tech Ultron drone, so he's got all of Black Panther's animations. Uh, so you want to make sure you don't get hit by any special attacks. That's kind of the biggest thing. Uh, so that don't get hit by any special attacks. Evade them. It's classic Black Panther. Just dash backward. Very, very straightforward. Um, but then also, he does have, uh, if your power hits zero, uh, you're going to suffer like damage that's essentially going to kill you. So make sure if you are going to throw off any special attacks, it's never exactly exactly on the bar so it's not going to reduce you to zero power and there you go the first quest is done super super straightforward to do uh, and you're on your way to getting that five star rank two to rank three gem now the second quest as well is very very um uh, easy to deal with in terms of the fights however uh, you don't have the the cheese here so there is a, a much easier path than the one that i took on my initial run so i recommend the easiest path by far is this uh this burden of might path which essentially does nothing apart from if you generate buffs or you dash back it's going to drain a little bit of your power uh so yeah pretty much you know kind of a little bit gimped in terms of your power gain there but you've got red skull bait the special one win the video game hood bait the special one win the video game rhino bait the special one win the video Video game and then you've also got this uh the skill ultron drone who is uh cyclops so you just got to bait the special one and hey congratulations you win the video game there and then you're at the the mini boss who is uh, a less stacked version of that black panther that you fought the global node is bane of dambala so nothing to worry about at all there um and yeah, so essentially a much easier version of the uh, the first boss with like pretty much nothing to it, just standard drone Black Panther really there. And then the boss itself is a mutant drone which has Electro's animation. So I find it very easy, personally speaking, uh, just to bait out the special one on this boss. But there isn't really anything you need to worry about. Uh, potentially, just be aware that if you block the special two, you will take so much damage. So you ideally, if you are going to push him to the special two, get good at evading Electro's special too so this one does have like enhanced regeneration and recovery but he actually has no way to regenerate as far as i'm aware so i'm, I'm very confused on this one uh but he does have pilfer regeneration which any buff activated on the attacker has a 20 percent chance to be pilfered which doesn't give him a regeneration it gives him a burst of power uh, so yeah, just be aware for any champion that has buffs, you could give him more power, but he doesn't have a special freeze. So yeah, just evading kind of more special attacks there. Um, but also be aware that when you're dashing back, you have a chance to give him power as well by triggering dexterity. is an instantly ch instant chance to kind of pill for that. But essentially, it's just a, a quite an easy electro boss to fight. Um, and yeah, just uh, a, a really really stacked one. So maybe you want to bring in a character with a lot of damage. Like I used, uh, I think the best option for this for myself uh, ended up being Winter Soldier with a Killmonger synergy because that damage ramps up so much uh, but Domino works you can pretty much again use like any champion and get this dude down uh, very much like the uh, the first um 
uh, what is it, Black Panther, uh, Ultron Drone Boss there, so yeah, very, very straightforward, so the first two quests, man, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and then we move on to the final one, which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, I would say, that's probably where the, the challenge for getting this rank 2 to 3 gem comes in, because there are a few annoying fights. Now, I think the easiest path for the majority of people, and this one to a certain extent is a little bit debatable, depending on which characters you're comfortable fighting, so you've got the first uh, three fights here for the majority of people, which is going to be all masochism fights. So you've got Carnage, who you have to do regardless. Um, and then Masochism, uh, what is it, Symbiote Spider-Man, and also Masochism Sabertooth. So ideally for these fights, if you've got Sabertooth for the Killmonger synergy, that's going to be very, very useful. If you've got Archangel, that's going to be very, very useful. If you can play Domino very well, that's going to work as well. So there are, you know, quite a few options, but also uh, as, as well, you could use Winter Soldier with a Killmonger synergy and ramp up the damage. Like Awakened Gwenpool should be able to get through some of the Masochism stuff, especially when she gets uh, above a 50 combo as well so you know there are quite a few different ways to play around masochism just to kind of you know throw a few out there uh, to get through these three fights at the start however if you're very good at fighting iron man infinity war uh, there is this Bleed Immune and Poison Immune Iron Man Infinity War, who if you've already stacked uh, Winter Soldier, might be a, a better idea to take than some of these other fights, but he is very, very tricky, because if you get him down, then you've got an Aspect of Chaos Venom, and Aspect of Chaos is quite quite straightforward to deal with, um, you know, if you're looking to avoid two masochism fights there. So if you're feeling a little bit brave, maybe that might be the, uh, the better path route uh, if you're very, very confident with the skill characters that you're using to uh, uh, fight Infinity War Iron Man, so just throwing that one out there. And then you've got the um, the masochism, uh, what is it, Tech Ultron Drone. So again, you, you fought this dude like three, uh, twice already now. This is the third time. And this one's Black Panther. Very, very straightforward. Just use a high damage output champion there. Ideally Winter Soldier, but because the special attacks are so easy to bait, like really, really simple fight on that one. And then I would suggest, because I've, I've watched quite a few people do this, if you take the left path it's probably going to be a little bit easier because i've seen people get trashed with like uh howard's uh what is it uh, uh, uh quack damage that he has when he drops to low health and also magic's limbo and maybe get a bit wrecked by bad rng so i think um uh, you've got two aspects of Chaos fights, and it's kind of up to you which ones you feel more comfortable with. Uh, but I think Deadpool and Wasp are arguably a little bit easier for the majority of people, but it depends who you're more confident fighting. But make sure you at least know how to fight Wasp if you're going to go on this one. So Aspect of Chaos, again, every 10 seconds, the attacker and defender switch health bars, so you can get really low. You can get down to like 5%. You can bring in Punisher if he's awakened. Uh, go down, and if you know he has an up to 85% chance to cheat death on 1%, go indestructible retaliate with a special attack and you can win uh you know four out of five times there very very easily if you want but if not it's aspect of chaos very very straightforward and then you've got saber tooth who has um uh, what is it, 40% increased buff duration, so if you fought the first Sabertooth, like this one should be really, really easy, because it doesn't affect his regeneration, because it's passive, it's only the Fury, so it's really nothing to worry about, just kind of standard Sabertooth, bait the special one, easy game, easy life, but ideally if you bring an Archangel, it's going to make that one a lot easier, but also Domino's really, really good, uh, but then you need to keep in mind for this one, the final fight does have cow drops whenever you dash back, but because this dude doesn't have a special free, you can play this fight if you're very very good at parrying by never blocking and if you want to see some examples of that check out the 100% live stream we did it with winter soldier and domino uh but there are you know a few uh, a few bleed immune champions like iceman emma frost um a Mega Red can all be very, very good for this fight, especially a Mega Red, because you uh, go into, you know, you mitigate 90% of the bleed damage, and it increases your uh, radiation damage output and stacking uh, cap limits up to 30. So, yeah, a Mega Red, I imagine, would be quite good for that, but also I don't know if it's going to react uh, in terms of the, uh, the what is it, plus 50% attack for each debuff on them, but you've just got to be very careful, and this one is going to be uh, Cyclops in terms of the opponent you're fighting. So, yeah, essentially just bring uh, a bleed immune character is the way to go on that one or play very very nice of parries but that's it uh for chapter one completion so i would say um 
you know, for the majority of kind of people, like, progressing around that Act 5 area, it might be a good idea to kind of look at your roster and weigh up whether or not uh, you want to go for that initial completion in Chapter 1. Because, again, just doing the completion in Chapter 1, even if you can't uh, complete the entire thing, is going to give you that 5-star rank-up gem crystal, which allows you to take one character from 2 to 3, and also a few 6-star shards as well. But I think mainly for the rank-up gem crystal, you know, that's a good stack of, like, 3 uh, Tier 4 class catalysts which for mid-tier players, you know, you're always looking for more to take up uh, valuable characters, so it might be a good one to push for. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully... Um uh, this initial completion guide helped you out today and has inspired a little bit more confidence for the completion. I think chapter 1 is not too bad to get the first completion on. And as soon as I can uh, get a gambit to like a decent power level on the free-to-play account, I believe I'm going to be going it for it myself as well. So yeah, we're not too far off on the own free-to-play account as well. But chapter 1, not too bad, boys. If you can get in there, if you've got the roster, I highly suggest getting it done as soon as possible. Uh, but aside from that, hopefully this guide was useful. If it was, feel free to smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciate it but thank you very much for watching uh share it with your alliance members to help them out if they need it aside from that take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day